Hey everybody, Heather Lambert here from A More Magical Life. I wanna talk about to-do lists today because I think that a lot of people get really overwhelmed with their to-do list that they can never finish. So if you have an ev never ending to-do list that you just can't seem to get to the bottom of, and the faster you get through things, the, the more that seems to be on it, right? Um, if that is an issue for you and it's overwhelming and it's, it's defeating, like when you can't finish, you feel like, you're just not making any progress. You can't ever get to the end and that's exhausting. It's tiring. It feels like you don't have time. You feel way too busy and overwhelmed. Um, so I have a different way to write my to-do list that helps me to feel effective each day. I feel um, like I can finish my list it feels so good to finish your to-do list. Like that is a gigantic accomplishment. So um, I'm gonna share with you the way that I write a to-do list each day. And it was inspired by um, Shalene Johnson, if you know her. She has a book out called Push that she wrote uh, way back when, and she talks about her to-do list. And it's a variation of her to-do lists, um, but I like simple and quick and down and dirty and, uh, short and sweet. So um, I've tweaked it just a little bit and um, made it just a little bit more my own. So, cause that's what I do. But um, so a to-do list, I keep a, um, a running to-do list of all the things that I need to do and get done um, each week. So in my planner for the week, always use a weekly view planner and I like them vertical and with times and I'm gonna show you in just a second. But my planner also has a room where I can write a list of all the things I need to get done. So it's a running list. I can add to it as things come up. Um, I can put stuff on there just so that I remember. Um, but then each day I have a short to-do list right? So that's my list. That's just like my running list. That's this week. Sometime this stuff needs to get done. But here's the magic. Each day you make a to-do list that only has the things on it that absolutely must, with no question, get done today. If it doesn't get done today and it's okay if it gets done tomorrow, it don't go on the list, only the things that you absolutely must get done today go on today's to-do list. One of my today's to-do lists is keep the child busy on summer vacation. What? Can you get the Yeah, one second. So, um, kids and dogs, real life. We do business, we do work, we do real life. Um, so, the only things you're putting on your to-do list for the day are the things that absolutely must get done today. The rest stay on your running list. Yeah. They can get scheduled along the way. And if you complete your today list, so those things that absolutely must get done, I knock them out, I get them done. I have finished my list. When you finish your list, one, it feels amazing because you're done. You're done. Technically, you have finished your to-do list for the day. Everything that must get done today is done, and you're done for the day. And it feels so good. But then you get a choice. So you take a look at what time you have left in that day, and you can do a couple of different things. You can take the rest of the day off. You can go do something fun. You can reward yourself. You can pamper yourself. You can take a nap. Or you can take a look at that running list of things that need to get done eventually and pick some and put some on um, in the rest of your day. So you can get a kind of a head start on the other days, right? So if there's other things you want to get done, you go ahead and take care of them. And he's back. Mommy? What? Um, do you know where the water glasses? They're probably in the bucket on the side of the house, over there on the what? side of the house. What? Go around the corner is the bucket with all the toys. What, what bucket? You remember the big... The big bin with all the outdoor toys used to be on the porch. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. It go around the house. It's on the other side. So, um, so when you finish today's list, you choose. You can either take the rest of the day off. You can go spend some time with your family. You can hang out with the kids. You can um, date night with hubby. You've got all your things done, and you can feel good about that. Celebrate that you have accomplished everything that you need to get done. And then take a look at what is left 
and how much time you have and, and how motivated you are. What are you, what are you feeling like? You can go ahead and knock some more stuff out or you can take the day off because tomorrow you're gonna make another today list and those are the things that must get done today. So if you didn't do them yesterday, you're good to go. So let me show you the kind of planner that I use each week. It's a blank one, but um, it will give you a great idea. So this is, so I have each day, all the time so I can schedule in what is required. Um, and then these are, this is my little today list. It only has three slots, but I can double book those if I need to. Um, and then this is my running list that goes all week long. Now here's the trick. So each day I'm gonna decide what absolutely must get done today and I'm gonna pull these things off and put them here. Or I might schedule them in. If they are something that needs to be scheduled, I'm gonna write them right into the time wherever they belong in the week. And then as soon as I do that, I can cross it off, right? So I can work this down as I go. Um, so once I do my to-do list, it must get done today. I plug in the times that I need to do things and I just work through the week that way. And these end up getting finished as I move through the week. Anything left on this list at the end of the week just gets moved to the next list and I continue my running list of things to do. And then again, today I'm gonna to pull, what do I have to get done today? Just the things I need to have to absolutely get done today. So let me, so that is the magic, is deciding that if it doesn't get done today, is it okay? Is it okay if it's not complete today? And being very um, careful about how much you put on today's list and making sure it only is those must do's each day is the magic to the system because then you will always feel accomplished each day. You'll get done all the things that you absolutely have to do and you'll have time each day to complete whatever is left. And so you don't have to stress or worry about getting it all done. You just have to do each day one at a time. And when you find yourself finishing that today list very quickly, you can go ahead and knock out some of the other things too if you need to. So I hope that helps. I hope you are inspired to give it a shot. I would love to hear in the comments if you try it or if you have a different system that works for you. I'd love to hear that too. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great week. It's Tuesday. Um, and I will be back again soon with some more tips for you. So have a great day and bye for now.